Hi Scorpio, let's go ahead and take deep breaths. So they shuffle these cards. We're just gonna go ahead and keep up with those deep breaths. What's going on with our Scorpio? First card up, we have the Hanged Man. That wanted to come out. Just gonna place that right there. Focusing on, focusing in on Scorpio. I'm getting focusing, focus in, I cannot speak. Focusing in on your heart chakra. This is about, gosh, there's a lot of energy of like making amends and accepting all this like self-acceptance, all of this like mm, choosing healing now, choosing getting better now, choosing um, a lot of self-work here. And a lot of energy work as well, Scorpio. I love that. And if you can, as you can see here, we have the Four of Wands. A lot of wands. I have the Ten of Pentacles here. This is a lot on self. Heavy emphasis. One, two, one on the timestamp. Heavy emphasis on self. I love how these two came out together. This is you at your your utmost self, like your highest being. Like you're you're tapping into like every area, every part of you that needs activating, and you're over here like, hell yeah, let's do it. Let's do all kinds of activation. Shit, recharging, resetting. Scorpio, good for you. Sometimes I feel like it's hard for our scorpions to get out of things because um, emotions can get very heavy on us. So I'm, I'm talking to a very specific Scorpio here. Ace of Wands. I'm going to put this here. I, I always feel the need to put the major arcanas in the middle so you guys can see the overall energy here. Again, heavy emphasis on self. This is a lot of like recuperating. A lot of that energy is what I'm getting. A lot of like healing energy. A lot of what I feel like with this card, you see that light, that aura just all around that rose, that flower. It's like you're in a place in your life where you're like celebrating yourself in moments of like little victories, little wins, like you having to celebrate yourself in little moments. Just you. That's just you. Seven of cups. We have the seven, we have the ten eight and four those numbers could be very significant for you scorpio i also feel the need to tell you scorp that your willingness to go above and beyond your willingness to like see yourself in a whole different realm like see yourself in a whole new way three two three on the timestamp like it is very courageous and very brave of you to take on this journey of like um even more self-care even more self-love like you're taking it to the next level is what i'm getting there's a lot of like restructuring and there may be a lot of structure happening around you i'm getting like you finding yourself in different environments you having to adjust yourself in different environments now i'm getting like you probably have a new job you probably are in like a new group um participating in a new group session or whatever and you're finding yourself to be brand new right like you're approaching yourself in a different way and you're seeing yourself to be very different around these people you're seeing yourself different around um this environment that you're in, whatever that may be for you in your life. You may be taking a class, a new class. You may be one um, looking into taking a new class. Um, perhaps you having to find yourself in a whole different energy. This is something that I also had told, I think, Sag? Yeah. Um, you finding yourself in a whole different energy. And so, like, also reproaching or... Mm, perhaps like approaching others and approaching 
um, your environment is also brand new to you. It's also new. So you're like finding yourself to be very like, um, finding your, your comfort in it, like your comfortability in it. Like you can see the way his face looks like it's just like calm and collected. Like nothing can bother me from, from this point on or let nothing can, um, really shake me. Right. You're, I feel like with this page of swords is more like grounding myself in this environment, grounding myself in this new energy that I'm in, Ace of Wands, Page of Swords. And I'm hearing like you're loving it. You're loving the, the structure. You're loving the new structure, 555 five, five on the timestamp. You're finding so much joy in that is what I'm getting here with the sun. And you're really having to just trust in what your intuition may be speaking to you about at this time. And this could be, I'm getting like, this could be a very big season for some of our Scorpios. I feel like I'm talking to a very specific one. Um, like this is a very big, there may be like a big event that's happening in this season for you, Scorpio. Like a, a party, like a big party is what I'm getting. I'm hearing the word ball, like you're going to a ball or something, like a really big dance party. That's awesome. Um, I'm hearing tango, like you're maybe taking a tango class or you will be taking a tango class or you are in the class already and you're going into like a competition or um, you may be one like going into um, like on stage, like you're ready to go on stage, like this is what you've been practicing on is what I'm getting awesome and I feel like that is also something that you're finding structure in yourself about 707 on the timestamp like you having to be so willing to take the initiative to test your skills practice on your skills like put yourself out there and nourishing and watering your your skill set right and you're finding yourself to like really like restructuring yourself back again and <laughs> getting like a DNA, you know, like coming together and like regenerating. <sighs> um, you're finding also like rest in this, like there's just so much rest in this guy's face. Like nothing can bother me. Nothing can phase me because I had done something about this new energy that I'm grabbing onto and in it Scorpio says I'm in it and I say this to be very specific to some of our Scorpio and I'm talking to a specific Scorpio because it is so hard to be so willing and doing the things that you love and willing to put everything aside to do the things that you love in this place in this world right for any of us collectively and not just our Scorpios but it might be a lot harder for our Scorpios at this time because it is a very emotional season <laughs> is what I'm getting. Like the holidays are coming up, right? So it gets emotional. Like people are crying all the time. People are like heartbroken. People are just down and out. People are just not in their best selves. So you having to find yourself so willing um, to uplift yourself or even to acknowledge your your skill sets scorpio that is a very brave and courageous thing to do and you're not just like changing yourself and having to be so willing to change yourself and change and find yourself in different environments you are also networking and connecting with new people And you can very well find opportunities and growth and, and, and connect with like-minded people. But the ones that you thought you couldn't ever connect with, but you're finding yourself to be in a very good place with yourself and in a, in a great new energy. Scorpio, I feel like you're at your best self and you haven't been like this in a long time is what I'm picking up. I'm so happy for you. 
I'm getting this energy of like lively and bright. Like you haven't been this happy or like this, this, it's not even like, oh my God, like, you know, it's like, it's an inner calm is what I'm getting. Like an inner peace, inner calm, but like, I don't have to yell out my happiness. Like I can just sit in my happiness and be it okay. Like I don't have to like be loud about it. I can be proud and be in silent about it. And I think you have for, for quite some time, Scorpio is what I'm getting. Like, this is definitely something that you've been like needing to release or needing to get yourself out of. And now you're finding yourself willing to, okay, let's go this way. Like you're making choices. Like it's not the people around you who are making choices for you anymore. It's you making that choice for yourself. That's a beautiful energy, Scorpio. I love this reading. I didn't actually think that I would go into this reading feeling like this. Um, it's a, it's a feeling I get of like, you're just, you're like, I'm getting this image of like, you're just falling you're, you're just falling into it and you're trusting like you don't you don't know what is on the other side that's the unknown that you're willing to like that's the risk that you're willing to take is that you don't know what the unknown can you don't know what will come and you don't know what's on the other side it's very unpredictable you just don't know what 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 is to come but you're, you're falling into trust and you're falling back into what feels like trust. I feel like I'm getting this image of a person like falling into nothing and then there's like a net on the bottom. You're getting this image. Scorpio, I'm sorry if I'm like really bad at like telling it, but I'm Im imagining a person falling back and then falling into a big net on the bottom, right? Like, you knew that in having to trust in something that you were going to have that support anyway. Three of Pentacles. And it, it just so happens that it's rooted in something that you knew, you know, you've been working on for quite some time. I'm going to take a tiny tin... Tiny tin, what do we got for our Scorpios? Let's take a tiny tarot for our Scorpios. What do we got? Ooh, the King of Swords. Heavy on masculine energy. Um, let's, let's get another one just to get a little bit of a story here. I'm gonna get another tiny tarot for our Scorpios. Please don't get anything bad. Please, please, please. It's an ace that's good but i do have both swords here so i have the king of swords and the ace of swords Whew. oh i'm getting like somebody somebody maybe like seeing you from a distance or like hmm, didn't expect this to be like a romance thing but i feel like it is it's like Someone's got to really, someone's got a hold of you, Scorpio. And they're so clear about you. And they may be like at a distance from you or something. But like I'm getting that from wherever they are and wherever you are, even if you guys are not together physically in the same space together, that they think of you. And when they think of you, it's like everything is clear. Like, it's like they know for certain, 1414 14 on the timestamp, for sure, right? And they're certain about you. Like, there's just some certainty about you, Scorpio, that they cannot let go of. Can I just get another tiny tarot, please? Thanks. Something's going here. Something's brewing here. I love that. What a mystery. The temperance. Hell yeah didn't want anything negative to come out gross except maybe this ten of wands mm, not really it's, it's more of like 
coming to an end. Like, I feel like there's something here coming to an end. Like, this was something that was coming to an end and, and no longer is serving anybody, not just you. <laughs> um, wow. I feel very hopeful. Very hopeful. Thank you, Tiny Tin. You have been amazing. Scorpio, please like, share, and comment if you are resonating with these messages. I would love to hear your story. Please um, check me out on my Instagram. I post energy updates on there as well. I hope that this message and this reading helped somebody. Sending you guys good vibes. Take care, Scorpio. I will see you in the next. Much love. Bye.